Well, happy September to you. This is Raven Dana, and thank you for tuning in to Walking Between the Worlds. Here's a meditation to start off the autumn season. So, get yourself comfortable and relaxed, and sitting in a place with your back supported, where you can stay still for about 15 minutes. And bring your attention to your breath. Relax your breath and allow it to become slower and deeper. Allow your eyes to gently close and feel yourself float on the sensation of breathing. Rising up on the inhale and drifting down on the exhale. Relax. Feel your body settle down on the surface beneath you. Let your belly soften. Rising up and drifting down, it's easy to float on the air that you breathe. With every exhale, you relax a little more deeply. Your shoulders relax. Your arms heavy and comfortable. You release your jaw and allow your face to soften. As you float effortlessly on your breath, your mind quiets. And in that space between thoughts, images begin to rise around you. And you find yourself walking across a rolling expanse of grass and trees. The air is beautiful and crisp. The sun is warm. The sky is dotted with clouds. And you see something that in the middle of a grassy expanse, there's a long table It's decorated with a brightly colored tablecloth and it's set with plates and cups and pitchers and silverware. There are chairs and benches along both sides and at the ends. And you feel called to that table. And as you approach, you begin to notice a few other people walking across, coming from between trees, coming up a small path, and you recognize most of them. They may be your friends, family, people who have passed that you've loved. There may be a few people that you don't know well, but that you recognize. Maybe a favorite barista or your postman that you see every day. All people that are familiar to you, that you feel some warmth toward. And they each look at each other and they look at you and you all laugh a little nervously wondering why you've been brought to this place. But you all take seats at the table and you begin to chat amongst yourselves and the day is beautiful and you smile and you're in a place of happy anticipation. 
And just then, a very old woman begins to walk out from between the trees, leaning heavily on a large staff. Her eyes are bright and twinkling. And she approaches the table, radiating a sense of kindness and power. Everyone quiets down and looks towards her. And you realize now that there are only a few places left empty at the table. Welcome, she says. I'm glad you have come. This invitation to a feast is always available to you. I invite you to celebrate with your loved ones with friends and family and soon to be friends to celebrate with those who have passed and those who have gone before. This table will always be set for you. And she points toward a few of those empty chairs and says, not everyone accepts the invitation but you are all always invited. So enjoy, she says, and taps her staff on the ground. And you see people walking up the path, carrying platters and plates, carrying trays of food and pitchers of drink. And everyone begins to talk amongst themselves again and laugh and as Platters get laid on the table. A favorite food of yours is placed just close by and you realize that's true for everyone at the table. There's some favorite food or favorite meal that's being brought for each person. And when the food is all placed, the woman signals again by raising her staff and a drink is poured for one and all an amber liquid, and it smells faintly of honey. Mead, you think, it might be honey wine. And she reaches forward for a glass of her own from the edge of the table and raises it high. To all of you, she says, to life, to hope, to joy, it's here whenever you wish to enjoy. And she raises her glass and has a long drink as do the rest of you. Now make merry, she says, puts her glass back down on the table and turns and begins to walk away, fading, disappearing gently between the trees and you look at this place, this beautiful table, these people that you feel warmth for, kindness toward, and indeed it is a place of joy and life and hope. And you just lean back in your chair for a moment and take it all in. the smell of food and drink and trees and grass, of late blooming flowers and the sound of birds and laughter and the whispering of the wind and the leaves of the trees. It is a perfect moment and you feel grateful. You close your eyes and breathe it all in and you begin gently to travel on your breath, flowing gently back into the moment, into your body, into the room in which you rest, carrying back with you that invitation that joy of a table always set for you to celebrate connection. 
and the pleasure of life itself. You breathe your way now all the way back and feel the sensation of clothing on your skin. You feel the gentle weight of your body resting on the surface beneath you. And with a deep sense of warmth and gratitude, you come all the way back and allow your eyes to open. Welcome back, my friends. And you can return to that place whenever you choose. Thank you so much for joining me today here at Walking Between the Worlds. I'll see you again soon. Happy September. <laughs>